C C Woo As much as I know us uh, Seahawks fans uh, do not like these dramatic finishes um, you would think as many close games especially in recent years that the Seahawks play that us fans would have nerves of steel uh, but once again the Seahawks when it counted made the plays that were necessary to pull out this win against the Vikings and on top of that, this is the first time in franchise history that the Seahawks have reached 5-0, and which um, it almost at times, especially during this game, it looked like that might not happen. Um, but I will say there's a lot, of, a lot of good things to talk about uh, when it came to this game and a lot of praise to go all around. There's obviously still some things to work on, um, especially on that defensive side, but... Um, and even the offensive side got off to a slow start. This was almost a typical uh, Seahawks of old game uh, where we would get these slow starts and then all of a sudden in the second half, especially that fourth quarter, we put it together. But uh, I don't even know where to start. Uh, I guess we could start with the defense. Even though this defense struggled, um, especially in that, that, that first half, they, they made the plays that they needed to to not only – not let the Vikings run away with this game. But, um, you know, they had that fourth down stop um, or even earlier in the second half when KJ uh, Wright had, um, had that interception um, against Kirk Cousins. And kudos to KJ Wright for, um, I mean, he's always been playing really well and really solid. I felt a little bad for him because he got, he had that, um, he had a few intercept or uh, potential interceptions that, like hit him in the hands or went right through his hands uh, last game against the Dolphins. But this time he got that one hand. Um, it was Odell Beckham Jr.-esque one hand interception. And uh, that definitely helped with um, as far as getting the momentum in our favor. Um, I know uh, Cook, the Vikings running back, I know he went out with either a calf or groin injury. Um, which definitely, obviously, as well. Um, I felt like once that injury happened, you could feel the momentum um, definitely going in our favor. And even though the Vikings, the excuse me, the the Vikings scored um, not too long after that. You know, once I think we scored, and then they scored back. Um, it definitely, you know, went in our favor that Cook didn't play the rest of that game. I think the Seahawks still could have won, but it definitely. Um, increased our chances and so yeah the defense showed up when it needed to um once again that brand uh, uh bend but do not break and then um on the offensive side of the ball uh for you know the seahawks started slow which i i in my heart i felt like was gonna eventually happen um there's a part of me that does not trust us to always be um, you know, high flying and, and, you know, starting games really fast, especially on the offensive side. Because we are going to run into a defense, if not this game, you know, in other games where for some reason the offense isn't clicking. And that happened specifically in the first half. And, you know, thankfully our defense, even though our defense was still giving up a lot of yards, they, once again, they stopped the Vikings from, like I said, running away with the game. Uh, they had that, four, uh, going back to the defensive side of the ball, ball, that fourth down defensive stop. And I know some people are like, well, why didn't the Vikings go for those three points? Um, in retrospect, I can kind of see what the Vikings were trying to do. They were going for that killer blow um, to virtually end the game, which I think we might have still had, if, if not a couple, maybe at least one timeout left. And, you know, it's one of those plays where – for the Vikings, you're a hero if it succeeds, and you're a hero if it, or a villain if it doesn't. And it didn't work out for them. And the Seahawks marched down with Russell Wilson, who once again continues to be that MVP and show keep keeps proving over and over on why he's as good as he is. And people are still, I know, going to try to discredit him and this whole thing and Patrick Mahomes and all that. Nothing against those quarterbacks or, or Aaron Rodgers or whatever. But this is something special that we're all uh, witnessing. And I hope people, um, 
specifically outside of Seattle will wake up to that. Um, but, you know, we can't depend on that. But credit to Russell Wilson for even after throwing that pick, um, you know, still um, as is, is programmed in him to continue to play the game, to continue to believe that things will happen. And they did. And, and DK Metcalf, um, doing his thing and, and, and getting that touchdown on that fourth down conversion. Um, I can go on and on about this game. Um, and even that, um, I'm forgetting the, the guy on the defense of the ball who caused Kirk Cousins to fumble the ball. I, I don't even know his name, but, you know, it's a it's an example of how this team, even when we're banged up, how the next man up is in there to play. And even with Jamal still out, you know, you, we had – I'm forgetting that that person's name as well, but we've been having him at safety, you know, making some good plays. So the depth showed up today. The defense showed up when it needed to, and same with the offense and special teams. Like this, this was. Um, it, it's another game that I think the Seahawks could have could have handled better, but at the same time, got to credit the Vikings are for making this game competitive and interesting. I mean, at times I felt like we were making that defensive line of the Vikings look like the 49ers of old, but. Um, as I said, I can go on and on about this game, but five and zero for the first time in franchise history. Um, and I feel like this bodes well for our Super Bowl chances. I know the year, you know, the year is young. We're just in the, I guess we would call it the second quarter of the regular season, but this is feeling really special. And I really hope, you know, the Seahawks. I'm sure all of us Seahawks fans hope they can go all the way this year. Um, but we'll see one game at a time. I'm sure all of us would love for them to go undefeated, but you, you know, you never know. Um, but at the same time, I'd rather them also get their mistakes out as early as possible. Uh, but this, yeah, this is special five and oh, if the Seahawks happened to, cause there were times that looked like the Seahawks might not pull this off. Um, I still would have believed, you know, in our team to be able to bounce back. Um, this would have definitely been a game where they kind of, once again, let things, um, you know, kind of get it in their own way. But, yeah, this is this is a good – this is a special team. And I know that defense um, leaves much to be desired. But they'll improve. And they show up – as long as they show up when they need to, you know, I know it doesn't – it's not great for us fans to witness. But, yeah, the, the, this is a special Seahawks team um, so far, you know, at 5-0. and So hopefully they can keep it up and – continue to let Russ cook and um yeah it's a very great time to be a Seahawks fan and we'll, we'll see where things go but um outside of that uh you know once again this is Dwayne Andrews Jr. reporting in and I'll close with Go Hawks <laughs>